Uh, hello, my dear listeners. Uh, this video I will talk about the economic crisis and I will uh, cover two articles from the Russian press um, about this. And um, uh, the, first, the first one is uh, about the forecast of the Russian budget based on the uh, um, crash of the euro. Okay, so this is the official uh, numbers. And uh, the second article uh, will be about the um, uh, prices of platinum versus gold right now, and that's the confirmation of the crisis. But the first article here, um, so the Russian, Russian, they're really preparing uh, for the collapse of the eurozone, and they, um, I think, know how this, you know, the, what's the precursors of those things are. And the countries experienced, you know, the few collapses in, in the past uh, two decades. So they can recognize the s symptoms and draw um, some uh, conclusions. Uh, surprisingly, for m myself here, they think that the price of oil will go down to sixty dollars uh, per barrel. Okay, so every projections then for the Russian budget is done based on that. And what the Russians are also uh, f uh, forecasting that they will devalue the rubble, if, if that will be the case, they will devalue the rubble from uh, about the today's level of um, 32 uh, rubble per dollar down to 46 rubles per, per dollar. So they will devalue um, 40%. 40, 40 and in the article, it's it says like it's it says it they say it's going to be inflation tax on the population for 2013. So they not even trying to manipulate any like this is safe as it is the valuation of the currency. It's inflation tax uh, on the population, uh, and that's that's the mainstream. It's not some kind of like you know a blog. It's it's a really. Uh, mainstream and it's a, it's a official official uh, site and that's how it is presented but what i found also interesting in this article that they uh, are still thinking from everything i, I read um, that the official version uh, that the dollar will remain s strong if the euro collapses which is um I th I think that they um, misinform on the real uh, state of affairs in in the U U United States I inside, and that's why I won't be a really a real relying uh, from this part from this part on on what uh, they are saying. But interesting um, word. Um, a world uh, GDP will fall if the eurozone, uh, by uh, sorry, the slowdown of growth of 1.2% and Russian GDP will fall because uh, of the fall of the demand for oil uh, by 2.7%. But this is you know all it, it's worth what what it's worth. That's it's all official uh, figures. And the second article here. Uh, okay, it's talking about the platinum being uh, at the record low compared to gold since um, 1985. Okay, and they are saying uh, interesting statistics for precious metals investors. So, uh, gold from the top fell 9.6 percent when the platinum fell 20 percent, and uh, the first time the, the gold. Um, actually um, outperformed the platinum uh, was uh, s recently was the 17th December 2008 when the gold reached uh, 833.5 dollars compared to the platinum being at 833 dollars so a very slight uh, increase and they also uh, talking um, in 2008 uh, when the platinum fell from 2252 dollars $2, down to $774 uh, per, per ounce, and they uh, like they uh, staking articles from Wall Street Journal that uh, platinum will not recover very soon because it's used in a diesel a production of the diesel vehicle in Europe, and demand for this vehicle will remain low and uh, South African mines they are not going 
decreased production of platinum because of the prices is uh, very low but you know you can always and there is a f uh, forecast of the average price of SHBC for uh, next year it's uh, 1625 uh, and um, forecast by Barclays uh, for platinum it's um, it's for 2018 it's uh, 1672 and their forecast for gold it's it's uh, it's 1750 as the average price for 2013 so despite all the crisis those banks who are gold bashers they forecasting average gold price goes up for almost nine percent that's the average price so if you sell you know to get the average price you will should be able to sell above average price so it's still uh, you know very very good assets to to hold uh, even those very um, timid forecasts uh, of the of the increases so um, yeah guys uh, Russians are pre preparing for um, collapse of the euro um, I would trust them on, on that and they preparing the population officially for that and their economy is preparing for that and they're applying based on that so and um, yeah so I, I, I would not discount that what I would discount their optimism about uh, US dollars thanks for watching